Hey everyone, today I'm going over thermoregulation, which is how an organism controls its body temperature through homeostasis. It's the way an organism can balance its heat loss and gain. This is a great example of negative feedback, as the body needs to be at a certain temperature range in order to function well, or else, well, you'll burn or freeze to death. But anyways, we've got two types of organisms on the stage today, and these are endotherms and ectotherms. Endotherms create their own heat through metabolic processes, and ectotherms regulate their temperature by using external sources. An example of an ectotherm is a snake basking in the sun when it's cold. To raise its temperature, it slithers onto this rock to gain heat. There are plenty of ways endotherms can regulate their own body temperatures. One way is simply their body structure. In insulation, layers of fat, hair, or feathers can insulate the organism and trap heat in. There's also this process called countercurrent exchange in the circulatory systems of organisms, which is when body fluids flow in opposing directions and heat is transferred through the flow of these fluids. Here's an artery and a vein side by side. The arteries, which carry warm blood, come in close contact with the veins. Heat radiates from the arteries to the veins, raising the temperature of the fluid in the veins. Some other processes that occur in the circulatory system are vasodilation and vasoconstriction. In vasodilation, blood vessels dilate and become wider like this. Blood flow is elevated, and heat escapes into the atmosphere while cooling the organism down. Vasoconstriction is the opposite. It reduces blood flow and heat transfer by decreasing the diameter of the blood vessels, preventing heat from escaping. In addition, sweating is also a mechanism of thermoregulation because as it evaporates, your skin feels a cooling sensation. So those are the methods of thermoregulation and the animals that go along with them. Don't forget to ask any possible questions you might have by commenting on any of my videos.